Hey, Denali and I are on Merriman's Mill Trail today at Gunpowder State Park. Um, this was a tough one. As you can see, we're working our way back to the car. We're about three miles into the woods. And it's been a steady incline uh, going up and a little bit of both coming back. Well, a little bit of both going up and coming back. But the incline is so steep. At one point, we were up there. We were up there. And we started uh, almost uh, the level of the reservoir. And we're on a decline now, walking, working our way down. She's ready to go because she's pulling. Uh, we've been walking for like an hour and a half. But it seemed so much longer than that because this was intense. This one here. So you have to, So I was going to bring the puppy out. I didn't know when I read... The, um, the reviews on the, on this trail, it said moderate, um, which is, you know, easy, basically. Uh, and I was going to bring the puppy out, but good thing I didn't, because there's no way in the world she'd have been able to make this one. I would have had to carry her back. Denali is pretty good, though. She's, she's strong. She like being out here and she stays focused for the most part as long as there's no friendly people and other dogs she's good if there's other dogs out here like it's been a lot of, we ran into a lot of dogs there's a lot of people out here actually on this trail um and then you get into some some, some secluded areas which is the the parts i like because you get to really focus but on the main trail there's people with dogs and friendly people, so she get distracted. And a lot of people out here, they let their dogs, on this trail anyway, the majority of the people have been letting their dogs run loose. I guess it's because it's so secluded. They don't think they're going to run into other dogs. But we ran into, uh, I guess, three different people with dogs that were just running loose. And so we'll just, Denali will usually spot the dogs because the, peop, the dogs will usually be running. Um maybe you know about 30 yards ahead of their owners so we'll just duck into like you know a little part like that until the owners catch up with the dog and able to secure the dog that way neither one of our dogs will get hurt and i won't get bit and denali won't get bit either so but i hear the car so we close back to the car this is a steady decline like when we came when we started man this it was a steady incline that's not that's not even a half of it right there it's like my whole body hurt so and again we ended up up there and we got we went down as far as the reservoir you can't see it because where we are now but the street is there we were um almost level i want to say level as the street and they work that way back up the hill to continue on the path and now we're going back down so i think it's like 38 degrees out here today and i'm i have a lot of you know i'm dressed in layers and i'm totally sweating like i'm sweating uh from head to toe because of the uh because of the intensity of the hill like we did this whole this entire trail it's, I think it said 10.9 miles and we are going to wind up doing uh, about three and a half of the 10.5 like I, I don't think I could do the whole 10.5 now because it just man it's just like intense like the elevation is 1900 feet almost 2000 it's like 1980 um, 1,985 I believe it said but uh yeah it's intense so but we done we done and as you can see it's real rocky out here the path is pretty wide but it's rocky you gotta watch out for turning ankles like I've been if it wasn't for my trusty boots I would have turned my ankle a hundred times so I actually turned my ankle last week on the, tr the trail that Manali and I were on on some roots and
I guess because we was trying to beat the daylight, my adrenaline was pumping. I didn't feel it. Um, but when I got home late on that evening, oh my God, I couldn't, couldn't put any weight on it. But I was able to get myself up the next morning and go to work. So you know when you're getting old, like you don't recover the same. So my ankle was killing me for, for about two days. And I was doing, when I would get, when I was home, I was doing this, this little acupuncture pen that I have. And I would do that at night, you know. It actually helped a little. So I have to purchase me a GoPro. Me holding my camera and trying to hold Denali and trying not to kill myself. That's a little tricky. But, bam, we made it. My car is right over there. Alright, thanks for watching. We've been walking for almost two hours. Almost two hours. Peace.